Italian record in the championship as well. So Tommaso Allen, straight through the sweet spot, the Azzurri lead. All being presented by the captain Lamoro. Nacho Brex releases it, now there's a real chance. Canoni, and on there too. Alessandro Garbisi, and that is the first try of the match. The referee said the ball went forward off the knee. There may well be a second look at that. Well, I don't know whether it's gone to the team over, but again, it's some fantastic break right at the moment, right at the middle. Couldn't quite see there, did it hit his knee? The referee is in the correct position. There's one Garbo, Garbisi. Big carry, beautiful back at the ball. It's Lorenzo Canoni again, absorbing one tackle off May. Well, in off the cushion from Ford. And Maori to two all the way down his back. Now wearing a, a, a red rose on his chest. Sorry, man, that was a oh, a breakthrough. And this is superb from Freeman. And Freeman offloads to Daly. And Daly gets the try. Tommy Freeman playing for England for the fourth time. Hasn't been involved since Eddie Jones' last game in charge against South Africa more than a year ago. Freeman coming off his wing, giving an option. He may not receive that ball, he did receive it. And then he's just distributed it straight to Daly. A good combination of right wing to left wing, coming off the wings. Stewart there with a big pass. He's read it superbly well, again ridden the tackle. Alessandro Garbisi. Negri taking it into the contact. As Paolo Garbisi breaks again, he's got wonderful hands. Now the space, and there are men. And here goes Menoncello. Inside. That is wonderful. Quite brilliant rugby. And it's Tommaso Allen who gets the score to become. Italy's record try scorer in rugby's greatest championship, try number eight. Absolutely superb rugby from the gods here. It's just good depth. That's what's done this try. Depth, depth, depth. I keep saying you cannot be too deep. You just let that guy in front make that decision. A few months of his time with the England setup. And George Ford. No problems that time. Narrowing the deficit to just six points. Well, once again, just flirting a little bit with that right hand upright, but it's now three from four. He's waiting it for it to go in the red. And here you go. So from one brother to the other, the ball goes into touch. And the end of a very entertaining first 40 minutes. Possession to England, 66%. 17 points to 14, and that was fumbled by Rutza. Ford, on from Dingwall. Space here for Slade, but he cuts in field. England now within 12 metres or so. Away, five! Yeah, ball's there. Mitchell chooses to work the short side, sees a chance, sees a gap. He's still going, is Mitchell. Mitchell, has he got there? Well, the referee the says he has. Not well in the tackle, so it's good. And that's why you pick on form. Northampton Saints, top of the table in the Prem. You've got guys like that. Half play. Look at him, he's looking, looking, scanning, scanning. George Ford gives him an option. Inside he doesn't need, he just keeps his legs pumping. For the first time Italy don't scramble that defence, they don't make those tackles. They've been so good at, that was the one. He's allowed to get up, the tackle was not made. Just there, and I think it was Thomas or Allen, it was Tommy Allen. Felix Jones celebrating, Richard Wiggerworth <laughs> trying to celebrate, but holding the... Uh, the smirk. 
Italy do have a 6-2 split on the bench, but they make four alterations there now. And George Ford adds another three. And it's starting to look a little more comfortable now for England. 24 points to 17. We make it a four-point ball game going into the last 20 minutes. Oh, he's pushed it. His first miscue of the day. Making that a ten-point game. Two scores. Italy will then need. Yes. So England's blood pressure can just drop a little bit. The pulse rate too. They have a gap now of ten points. Nacho Brex onto Paolo Garbisi. There's Allen. This is space here perhaps for Menoncello. Menoncello is returned to Test Rugby. Has contributed significantly. Well, there was two 15s on 15 there. And Tommy Allen's come off worse. Surprise, surprise. The official's looking here at the screen. Puts his foot out. It's number 11 white. No, no. You've clearly put a foot out to trip him. It's yellow card. Paul, the marker's on the 50 metre line, five metres in. But it is another penalty advantage. A long it's blow of the whistle. It's you. And we have it's a yellow card, I think, coming for Italy. Indeed, we do. <laughs> wait, wait, time is off. He said it's you. <laughs> Lamarou tried to have a word with him. Here we are, guys. And there's the penalty for bringing it down, I think, in the initial thing. That was going to the try line. Paolo Garbisi, the kick pass. Zamanin's waiting for it. Took it nicely. Come on, Italy, you deserve a point, at least. Spaniolo, well, he almost lost it, took a couple of grabs. Lost there, boys. Okay. Nacho Brex. Ioani, the tackle there from the player of the match, but Ioani's still going, and Ioani's away, and the Italians are going to get their point. Watch this, this is absolute desire, you ain't going to get me, you ain't going to stop me, I'm doing this for me mates. Well, the eternal city has fallen again. The gates of Rome, well, they may not have been battered, and they certainly weren't broken by Borthwick's England, but the men in white have done just enough. Final score at the Olympic Stadium in Rome. Italy 24, England 27.